Hi there, it's Jonathan Schlow with Car Generator. I wanted to talk to you about uh, trailers and troubleshooting power issues. So I think we probably have not very good batteries or a set of batteries that are really not very good in this trailer that are kind of dead. So how we did this is yesterday I was talking to a customer and I said, unplug your trailer overnight. It had been plugged in at the rally. We're at Illumapalooza with all the beautiful air streams here. It had been charging for a couple of days. So I said, unplug it overnight and let's see how it is in the morning. So this morning he came to me and he said that the voltmeter in his trailer was showing 10 point, one side, let's see, what was it? 10.7. 10 point seven. There it is. So in just less than one night, it's down to 10.9 volts which shouldn't really be because we're just running a few fans and not very much else. So let's go outside, we're gonna diagnose this here. I've got my friend, the very friendly amp meter that can tell us a really important thing. So first of all, let's have a look and see. We're gonna connect this amp meter and on here, and this shows me that we are now pulling 0.9 amps, about one amp, which is usually just about the fridge and the LP detector propane detector that's about it if you turn fans on and lights on this might go up to like five or seven amps but not very much so what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna plug the trailer in because this trailer the batteries appear to be at 10.9 now normally normally you want to keep your trailer batteries in the range of approximately 11.5 to 12.5 or more 11.5 is basically 10% or zero so you want to really keep it in the range of 12.5 down to like 11.9 at the most. You don't want to really draw it. Every time you draw it down beyond that, it actually starts to degrade the battery. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and plug the trailer in. So watch this. And then we're going to go back to the amp meter. We're going to see how much power the trailer charger, the factory Airstream trailer charger is putting back into the batteries. We're gonna watch that because that's gonna tell us a very interesting story. As you can see, I love this stuff. So, <laughs> right there, it's connected up, and let's have a look over here. Let's go back and get it back over here and take a shot of the amp meter. So, what do you see on the amp meter? Aha! Uh -huh. We're pushing eight amps in, but look how quickly it goes down. Five amps. It's pushing in. That's all. Now let's go inside the trailer once more and see what the voltage says. Have a look, let's see. Let's see, what do we have? 13.6. Look at that, it looks great, doesn't it? The problem is, if I disconnect, I'm gonna disconnect, if I if I disconnect the actually you can leave that, just keep that up there for a second. Okay, 12.7. Let's just watch this go down. Let's turn it down. Look at that. I switched on one little fan and the battery's down to 10.8. Right? So that tells us that the battery basically cannot hold a charge. And that's how you can tell with your Airstream, you probably need new batteries in this case. Because normally you hook it up and it should be able to, it should not jump right up as soon as you plug it in, it should not jump from 10.8 all the way up to looking like it's full. That means that there's this much capacity left in the battery as opposed to what should be this much. So that's Jonathan Schlow from Car Generator. Thanks for watching, have a great day.